Hey guys, I've been doing videos on ores I'm finding on the beaches in Baltimore, but now I'm finding them along railroad tracks. So let me just show you this here, for example. This is specular hematite, and it's literally six inches long. I mean, like that's that's an incredible piece. Like I'm finding other big pieces too. Of I say hematite, some people say hematite, but that's iron ore. I don't know how long it actually is, how far it goes into this ground. And then this piece is magnetite. So I'll show you. I've got a magnet. It's just covered in my magnet is just covered in elect. Uh, so here's, let me just see how it sticks. My magnet just sticks to this. So this is like another six inch, at least six. I can't get it out, it's so big. And then I just like, I'm just like, everything's sticking to my magnet. As you can see, like this this dirt, if I just put it in this in this dirt, stuff just sticks to it. So there's a piece of magnetite right there. And then there's, there's pieces, smaller pieces of uh, specular hematite. So, uh, sort of hit the jackpot here again. And I'm finding another mineral too that doesn't. This oh, here's another piece of of iron ore that's sticking to the magnet. See how that's they're sticking. <laughs> There's hematite, another hematite. Yeah, so it sort of hit the jackpot here. Okay, guys, and now to look at some of the things I took home from that site. Uh, first of all, uh, let's take a look at the specular hematite, or as I say, hematite. So, as you can see, they call it specular. There's, there's a reason they call it specular, because it, it's spectacle, it, I guess, speckles, or whatever you want to say it. So, this is just a beautiful piece here. Uh, so, I, I, I kept that one. And this one is super shiny, specular hematite. And so, I, I definitely kept that one. It looks like tin foil or something. And this is non-specular hematite. It's just uh, the reason I kept it, I liked this strip uh, going through here. It's that's more finer grains. And uh, let's see here, uh, my, my camera's having a hard time uh, focusing. There you see, see how the, there's a central stripe in there. And what's also interesting about this piece, on the top and the bottom, see those sparkles? Those are actually, um, if, if we'll zoom in there, and uh, they're very small crystals of mica. So, which is strange because hematite is a sedimentary rock. These, this, is, this is usually a sedimentary rock. And muscova, mica is usually associated with metamorphic rocks. That is, the rocks that have changed their form because of heat and pressure. So maybe this one was under some sort of heat and pressure, and maybe that's why that has that streak like that in there. I don't know. <clears throat> and you'll notice the, the, the magnet doesn't stick to hematite, even though it's iron. It just doesn't, it's not enough iron content to stick to a magnet. And you'll also notice it's got some red, like it'll, it'll, um, it, oxidizes red okay so the that's the hematite then we've got uh magnetite so this and when we say magnetite you know it could be some of it could be hematite some of it could be uh some of it could be magnetite just enough there's enough magnetite in it though in any case it's iron ore in any case but there's enough magnetite in it that the magnet will ding <laughs> stick right <laughs> just throw it at it you know <laughs> so that's fun I just kept one piece of magnetite and uh, I'm going to try to polish this one side and see what that does and uh, it might be interesting to see how magnetite polishes and finally no not finally you've got two more uh, things to show you uh, uh, these this is um, manganese ore that's betroidal. So you see this, these, it looks uh, like, um, well, what does it look like? It's a, betroidal comes from looking like a bunch of grapes. So it kind of looks like a bunch of grapes as it were. But these, this betroidal, it, these are long tubes, longer tubes and they're not just bubbles. And it definitely has the metallic luster in it. 
I can get that. You can see the metallic luster in it. And the whole rock has betroidal things going on. And then look at this. This is very interesting. I know a lot of my viewers think that I'm finding meteorites. And that looks like a lot like what you see on meteorites. But I think it's just part of how manganese forms. I'm not sure. But it's cool. It's like a, almost a honeycomb kind of thing. And uh, there's some more betroidal in there. And a magnet does not stick to manganese. <laughs> and this one is more like just a piece of regular manganese. And the reason I keep this stuff, uh, the, these versions, this uh, form of it, is because you can shine it and it shines up like a mirror. It looks just like a plain gray rock right now. But when you polish it, it becomes like, it looks like steel itself. <laughs> so that's manganese and the last but not least i found it down a little ways a piece of what i think is coke right i've never found a piece of coke i don't think i would, and I just i thought i should keep it since i'm collecting all these steel ores all those ores i showed you are needed for steel and so i and, and i think this is coke which is they take uh coal and uh, then somehow they process the coal and get it to be more efficient in, in, in burning. So I believe this is probably coke, but correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody knows better. Um, and so it's kind of like, like the same thing we do with our barbecues or something. It's it just, this stuff will burn better than just straight coal. Okay, so, and just as a bonus, I just wanted to show you, this is a 1943S penny. Uh, Lincoln Penny. Remember, okay, so during 1943, what was happening? World War II. The S means this, this penny was made in San Francisco, and we switched for a couple of years to these um, steel pennies because we needed the copper that we usually use in pennies for casings for, uh, you know, bullets and bombs and whatever. And so that is a 1943S um, United States of America penny. And I just thought, since I'm showing you all these steel ores, just this could have been made with some of these ores because we don't make ore anymore in Baltimore. I mean, we don't make steel anymore in Baltimore, but back then we did. So... Um, Hope that was interesting for you, and uh, I'll, I'll show you some more things as I discover more of these ores. It's a whole new vein, so to speak, of material for me to cover in this channel. So, until then, keep looking down.